Hello, and welcome back. Uh, getting a little bit of a frame. I'm feeling pretty right low. Not sure what that's about. Something to report? I we pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Mabel Burgess, age 37, right or left-handed? Let's just say, no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my fifth, still one outstanding bound. Here we are. Bert, Bert was the local pretty. Well, that's all three. I must. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only... The... Mara... Not every... Uh-huh. I recall young Eugene. Says so right on the warning... What's... Her... Just between you and me? I'm glad you helped Helen back there. I've been feeling pretty low these days. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Oh, it's kind of you to say that. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back... I... Yes! I mean... Captain. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named The Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community.
As always, I am anything. I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate uh, in. He's also who told me of the journal's. That's a good. We should start on the groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I. All I. Thank you. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and the Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can... You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Excellent. I'll send her a while. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select...
Hmm? Yes, Captain? Nation reached a groundbreaker. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be? A the unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some site. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters. See you soon. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you can't have Thanks, Captain. Did you want to...
Alrighty, I believe we are going to go ahead and end off here, and we'll pick up in a fresh episode. So until then, see you later, and thanks for watching. Yeah, with a top.